showing you my new toys. Well, I just got back from the welding shop and got my um, <clears throat> five pound CO2 tank filled. It's still got some dripping off condensation from the fill. I pushed eight kegs. I pushed and force carbonated the quick and dirty way eight kegs with this five pound CO2 tank. I probably could have got 10 out of it, but um, <clears throat> I keep my CO2 tank in the kegerator. So um, you get a little, a couple less fills out of it. And what I just got today is a CanBev tank, nitrogen. And CanBev is basically nitrogen, uh, 7525 nitrogen CO2 mixture. And that's what you use to push your stouts out and that cool cascading creamy head that you get from Guinness and those type of stouts at the bar. So I'm going to hook that up to the kegerator um, in just a little bit. And there's a nitrogen regulator for it there with the 580 valve attachment. And come over here. Oh, look at that. That is a stout faucet for the nitrogen. It's got restrictor plates in it so it can give you those cool bubbles just like they have at the bars and pubs. And then this here, we've got a cool 21st Amendment tap handle, Monk's Blood. We've got Avery's tap handle, um, since that's my last name. And, oh, look at the IPA that's in there. That stuff's good. Actually, I'll even pour that for you right now. Check that out. Huh? Huh? Oh. Bang. A lot of head on that today. She could smell that. That's um piney, citrusy, dry hopped it for 15 days, so that's some good stuff. Anyway, for the nitro tap, we've got a porter in here called the Sultry Mistress recipe that I came up with. Um, and we're just gonna pour that through the stop faucet. It's chilling right now, and we'll force carbonate it later and um, show you the pour on that a little later on another video. Alright guys, just wanted to show you my new nitro tap and my can bath tank. That's it. Bye bye.